Hi, I'm Jenny from Refresh Living, and today I'm going to show you um, this indoor greenhouse cabinet that I made that's behind me from an old secondhand display cabinet. So I'm going to show you how I set it all up and how it's working for my indoor plants and also the um, seeds that I'm starting this spring. <music> So here is a look at the full cabinet. It was just a wood cabinet that I um, got from a secondhand furniture store. I see these all the time. Um, it's just a display cabinet with glass shelves and it has a mirrored back. This one's fairly large, um, but I wanted it to be big enough to hold my seed starting trays. So you could definitely opt for a smaller one. This one was like the perfect size, so I grabbed it up. So this cabinet had a light that was already um, attached. So I just put a grow light in there. The actual socket for this light um, is for a smaller uh, light bulb base. So I just bought a connector here that would then plug into a standard bulb. So then this grow light goes up here and I just keep this button on all the time because I have all the lights programmed on a timer. So I just used a standard, there it is, a standard um, timer and have it on from like six in the morning till eight at night. And the, that turns off on all the lights. So the other lights I added were just three of these strip lights. Um, I liked this because you can change the colors based on the stages the plants are in. And so then I have one on this shelf too and then one down here. Those can hook into each other. So I think this one is hooked into this next one, but then the other two just run up along. So you can see the cords run along up the side and I just use some command clips to keep them in place. And then I needed to drill a hole here in the top to allow all the cords to pass through. So up on the top here, I just have a power outlet strip. These are my two um, plugs for my uh, grow lights. This is the plug for the cabinet light. And these are two small USB fans that I have. So unfortunately those don't turn on and off with the timer. Um, but I try to just have them run. Um, when I get home from work, I turn them on to run for a few hours so there's air circulation. Or sometimes I keep just keep the doors open on the cabinet. So right now I have the bottom three shelves set up for seed starting. And then my top two are just some indoor plants and I sort of just rotate the plants in there that need to be in there. One thing I definitely wanna add is a humidity gauge. Um, but for now, for what I need it for, it seems to be working fine without it. And because I'm opening up the doors it never gets too high of humidity and none of these plants need extremely high humidity so it works out just fine so here's a large backup view of the cabinet for all the details on how i painted this cabinet including the type of paint i used which i also use on basically all kitchen cabinets that I do and a lot of types of furniture, head to my blog, refreshliving.net slash indoor greenhouse. And I'm going to link um, my first video I ever made on how to pre-germinate seeds that I still use today whenever I'm starting seeds in the spring. Thanks for watching.